Hello guys, how are you doing today? Well, today we have a really, really good surprise. Uh, we're gonna make our uh, own marshmallow costume. Ryan wants to be a marshmallow for Halloween, and we're gonna make it. We're gonna show you how to make it. And we need help. Where is your money? Oh, there you are. How about you? Come here, right here. Right here. Here we have our superhero. Who are you? Huh? He had a pajama day today, and uh, he went this. Cool. Incredible, yeah. Okay, so we need a bucket. We're gonna make it out of a bucket. This is gonna be our uh, helmet or his helmet. Um, yeah, we have to take the sticker off. This, this is not a sticker, actually. Uh, we already spray the bucket. This, this level, we're gonna spray it. We're gonna paint it after we cut it out all the way to make it nice and neat. Um, it says, what I was looking at, uh, more 10 inches, which is like uh, this is 12. So from here to here, it'll be 10 right here. And we're supposed to mark it with a Sharpie right here. This Sharpie. But I noticed right here, it's like almost a nine and something. There's a line right here. I don't know if you can see the line. I'm gonna show you right there. Um, oh, right there. As you can see, right here anyways. Right here, there's a line all the way around. And we're just gonna follow that line instead of a mark, everything. You can see, right? All right, right here, right here. The right in there. Okay, so. Now we're gonna cut it out with our uh, <laughs> look at that. The scissors got stuck into it. It's uh, we're gonna cut it out right here with our knife. Okay, now it's cutting time. We're going to cut it all the way around. We're gonna take the other part out of uh, the bucket so we can make um, the marshmallow. It is really, really hard. I was having a really hard time to cut it because uh, my knife was getting stuck in there. So, and it was not sharp enough because it was rusty. I had that knife in the storage for maybe, I don't know, for a good one or two years. And all the blades were rust. So, but anyways, um, we did it all the way around and look at that what we did right after we look through the left over which is like uh Brian says we're gonna make a basketball look out of the left over it's all cut out now and now we're gonna clean all the sharp uh, edges we don't want nothing to be sharp and so we have it all nice and smooth and then we will sand it with a uh, sand block all the way around to be nice and smooth and then after that we have the template already and we're going to cut it out I downloaded it from my Pinterest and I went around it the sharpie just to make it bigger because I didn't think it was big enough the face so I make uh, the eyes and the mouth bigger than it was when I uh, downloaded you can go and look it up in uh, Pinterest if you want to and then uh, you can uh, print out and make your own face or leave it as it is but uh, Okay, we're gonna cut it out, we're gonna uh, cut out the bucket so we have the face. And after it's already cut out, uh, you're gonna need a uh, tape so you can tape it onto the bucket just like that. And make sure you have it whatever you want it to be then you're gonna use sharpie to uh, mark all the way around and then when you have it where you wanted it go around it with a sharpie just to have the face the way you want it. And uh, I hope it 
works for you. Time to trace it with a Sharpie. Tracing is easier than I thought it was going to be. As you can see, Brian has been playing with uh, this astronaut. Uh, he's been having fun with it. He just playing, playing, and playing as I work on his project. He was supposed to do it, but of course, uh, Daddy has to do the job. Uh -huh. And it's the time where we take the stickers off uh, and see how the face is going to look like. So uh, then the sponge is going to put it in there so it don't uh, hurt his head when he have it on. Um, and of course, I'm going to cut it right now. Look at Giovanni. He's playing with the eyes. He put them on his face. And look at Brian. Uh, they're just playing as uh, I'm doing all the work. It's like a kind of hard to cut the eyes out but uh, it is easier uh, than when I was cutting around the bucket to get the other part out and okay we're gonna get uh, this cut out and I'll show you how it looks like when it's already cut So I decided to cut it two times and then fold it both of them. So it was like four times. Uh, I used clear tape to uh, stick it into the bucket, but uh, I didn't like the way uh, got done but, uh, I was looking for a white tape that I had uh, duct tape white duct tape but somehow we lost it I couldn't find it then uh, I use this silver tape that I have um, as uh, I put it on it was looking okay I really like it and so Brian liked it too but it wasn't like really easy to work with it so if you have white duct tape, that's what you can use to put it together. But uh, this work, because we're gonna find the other one, but I like the other one better. It's like stickier and I would say nicer too because it's white just like the bucket. But we didn't have it. This is how it looks like inside. But look at that, Brian is so excited, he just can't wait this on the inside for the head to be cushioned so it won't be uh, uncomfortable to wear it so we just glue it onto the bottom or will be the top of the bucket just make sure it's a nice and strong and really really nice glue it to it okay here is uh, all finished all we have to do is uh, we're gonna add a lights to it but uh brian he lost him somewhere so we don't even know where they're at but uh when we found it we will put them on but this is the finish marshmallow head 
So how's it ends, Brian, of the marshmallow? You don't know? <laughs> okay. Thank you. I hope you like it. I hope you make your own marshmallow hat. And see you next time. Bye. Like, share, and subscribe. Say bye-bye, yo. What's so funny? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was not nice. That's why it says it right there like crack. No. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>